Hey guys, so welcome back to AI the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. Let's carry on where we left off. We're exploring a simulation, potentially within another simulation, as we look into Tokiko's Somnium. She has plenty of secrets hidden away, and we're hoping to gather some answers as to who the hell the HB killer is, especially after Chikara ended up half on a blackboard. Let's go ahead and explore this. Is this such a quiet place. Giant white room. So empty and blank. Yeah, like her soul, most likely. I saw that sprite last time. Maybe that's Tokiko's mental state. Pretty eccentric. She's cleaned up her mind, that's for sure. Hopefully we can find something here. But, I mean, it's almost certainly a facade. Looks like we can only interact with that ripped up book. See, she's basically devoid of anything. Right. Let's investigate. I wonder if she's aware of what's going on. She is, uh, quite the conspiracy theorist, after all. Decipher the book and find the seam. We're gonna tear away at her world. Oh, man. This track as well. It's a haunting remix of her office theme, which I the already love. Nice teachings. Why is it ripped in half? The music is killer. Why is it ripped in half, Tama? Because half of it got transported somewhere else, like the Philadelphia Experiment. Does it say anything? Yeah. Just one phrase. The intersection between the warp and weft. Oh. The rest is ripped off. Damn it! I remember Tokiko saying something like that. The intersection between the warp and weft, that's where the seam can occur. Right? Supposedly. I wonder what she meant by that. Who knows? Why don't you join Nice to find out? Unfortunately, I failed the nil number test, so I don't think I'm going to be recruited anytime soon. Although, here's hoping I find out. Uh, somewhere along the timeline, and then I can return and answer that question. Anyway, that's about all that we can get from this book. Hmm. It's not a lot. Oh, man. <laughs> that ringing in my ears! It's like I got tinnitus. All of blank into blank, and the blank are blank to blank. <laughs> Alright. She's got spores coming out of her. Because there's an eyeball that's... behind her. Wonderful. Okay, what's over here? The other half? I feel like that statue when was did judging this me. Get here? This wasn't here earlier. No, she's deliberately leaving us breadcrumbs, it seems. What does it say? That's where the scene can occur. Okay, that completes the phrase which we already knew the answer to. Combining it with the book from earlier, the intersection between the warp and weft, that's where the scene can occur. That's exactly what Tokiko said. If it's coming out in her Somnium, it must hold some significance. Does it? I mean, this could all be one giant misdirection. Oh, hello there. That's just what we saw in the wing sink. I was just about to say. God. Whoa. Whew. I'm getting the chills from the Somnium, honestly. From this game. It's just such a weird, intriguing narrative. And, you know, this kind of imagery doesn't help. <laughs> Got a dead body. Is it the same blue man? Oh, God. What? Gin? What the hell was that? Why? Oh my god, the presentation in this game is next level. I'm scared now. Saw the scene. What are we gonna do? What does it mean? I'm pretty sure he's still alive six years later, isn't he? Weren't we at, uh, Brahmin? Eating, or not eating, sorry. Getting drunk off our face? Getting pissed? Decipher the book and find AI. All a blank into her writing, and the blank are blank to blank. I can't really make out what happened, though. I did see Gen, I think. You think? I mean, who else looks like that besides Teddy and Baymax combined? It was just really chaotic. Maybe the key to solving this Somnium has to do with what we found in the Nice book. The intersection between the warp and weft, that's where the scene can occur. That will help us? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> so... Uh, eccentric. I don't know about that. I don't see how that will help us right now. 
I don't think it's completely unrelated, but... Hmm. Hmm. The next suspicious thing is... This giant river of blood! Do you see anything? Hmm, not really. Hmm. Seems a lot deeper. It was pretty shallow earlier. Deeper, alright. Gin's body sank into the abyss, which is what we're supposed to be staring into. Let's dive in! Okay. What? Dive? Here? Where else? The floor? Yeah. Where else would I be talking about? But it's really deep. And red. You don't even need to breathe, Tama. You're an AI. What if there's an angry Shingu River Ray in there? Oh, well. Take one for the team, please. Enough with the complaining. You do what I say, I'm your master. You know? You don't even need to breathe. It'll be fine. Go for it. See, Ryuki and I are on the same wavelength here. Which is concerning because, you know, he has issues. <laughs> Fine. Why do you always gain this weird confidence during sinks? Because you follow my every whim. In the reality, however, you kind of whip me into shape. I'm a, I'm a real switch. <laughs> okay, it's my turn to dom, damn it. Okay, we're actually swimming. She swims really fast. Descending into darkness. What have we got, another version of our office down here? Yep. That was surprising. All of a sudden, we're out of the water. Water, huh? We fell from up there. But we ended up in the same room. Same, same, but different, I think. Oh look, the book again. Same, same quotation? Let's check it out. Oh boy. Okay, well, this is a lot tighter than the other one. This one's not ripped. I've noticed that the Somniums in this game are a little less interactive than in the first game, you know, where we would always have constantly th two, three, four options, depending on whatever we interacted with. I mean, I'm not complaining, but uh, just an observation I noticed. Just another single phrase. Where the black light gathers, sadness is born. Hmm, very deep. Is this her poetry collection? Where the black light gathers. A skull now. Don't tell me that's Gins. Oh boy. Whoa! Skulls? Why is Tokiko thinking about this? Hmm. Hmm? Wait, I sense something. What's that? Oh god! Ah! What is this that's thing? Fucking horror, man! <laughs> What's going on? Huh. They're not doing anything. With this and the skulls, this is getting really creepy all of a sudden. I shouldn't be playing this in the dark at 3.30 in the morning, goddammit. Maybe that's the black. Right. Hmm. Let's just search the room for now. Well, there are a lot of skulls on the floor. Yeah. If we can't find anything, we'll reread the book and think through our options again. Got it. We saw the seam. All a blank into her writing, and the blank are blank to those teachings. Can we interact with this guy? No, we can walk through him, though. Into the black, that's where the sadness gathers or something, right? So it can't be any of that stuff in the light. Anything that distinguishes these skulls from one another. Another eyeball. Is that... Cool. I'll take it. I just hate how she's just sitting here expectantly, like I need to pass her test. There's more, you Ryuki, guys? you have five minutes remaining. God, now Pewter's scaring the shit out of me. Please, let me concentrate. Oh, there's quite a few of you. I guess only visible up close. Alright, I've kind of narrowed it down to this skull in front of me, because it's close to that guy, and the skull over here by the wall. Which is close to this guy. Hmm. I'm gonna go back to this one, simply because the way he's facing is aligned with the skull, more or less. Let's try this one first. This one is bigger and misshapen. Is it? Okay. It's not what I saw, but I'll take it. Again? Why is he here? Of all people! And why is he not it a blue looks like guy? He's in pain. Why? I don't know. I feel like it's. 
I feel like it's like Virtue's Lost Reward. I don't want to spoil what happens, but there's a certain character there whose identity can be different depending on what's going on. And I feel like it could be similar here. That mask. Uh, I feel like whoever's beneath it is different depending on the timeline or something. You know what I'm saying? It's like a Schrodinger's mascot. <laughs> Uh, what's happening? He's, he's getting bullied? Whoa. Okay. <gasps> she is not the most stable person. He's petrified. He looked in Medusa's eyes. She's Medusa. <sighs> Disappeared. The freaking... Sound design. I wonder what the relationship between Tokiko and Gen is. Hmm. What was that? Ryuki, you okay? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm really not. Oh, yeah. This is disturbing on a different level. Looks like the book was the hint. Where the black light gathers, sadness is born. Mm hmm. After the sink, we need to ask Tokiko about Gen. Will she be cooperative? That's the question. Still on our way to the second lock, though. Tokiko has blank blank and blank 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 within blank. Blank. Who's this now? Someone else we know? Shoma now. Why? Did you see that? It became Shoma for a split second. Maybe Tokiko is related to him as well. I wonder. Perhaps Gen and Shoma both solved the Bats 490 puzzle. And she took an interest to them. I mean, we know Shoma definitely solved the, the puzzle. He just didn't disappear. Why Shoma? Tama, make chase! Throw yourself in the water! Hey, at least it's clear this time. You make it sound like I'm committing suicide. <sighs> okay, here I go. <laughs> Come on. We can do this. Descending downward into the next office. What's going on here? It's the same room again. But this time, the room itself is underwater too. Great. If this is the same as earlier, there has to be something related to Shoma. She doesn't seem to need to breathe either. Of course, this is her dream. She could do whatever the hell she wants. Huh. Inspect. Nine seconds. It says... Where the water and ideas flow, love is born. Water and ideas flowing. More metaphors, huh? Is she Shoma's mother? It must be some kind of hint, like last time. Oh, great. The symbol. It's a hand. And this? <laughs> uh, hands, Ryuki. I don't think they're one entity. The Nanyupal X symbol. I remember Tokiko mentioning it. I'm curious about the water and ideas flow part. Me too. Anyway, let's check inside. Yeah, if we get stuck, we can read the hint again and figure it out. We're not gonna get stuck. We're smart people. We work for Abyss, okay? All a blanket or a writing in the blank are strongly tied to those teachings. Four minutes remaining. Thank you, Pewter. At least you didn't scare me this time. Think harder. <laughs> Great. Where the water and ideas flow. Okay, so there's a current when I swim into this thing. So, that's water flowing, right? Ideas, though. Well, I'm flowing into this. The other skull apparently was uh, bigger and misshapen. I don't know what distinguishes this one here with the others, apart from its bright, ominous glow. How should I check? A uh, high five? When in Rome. How about making the same hand sign? Let's do it. Any luck? Huh? The light is gone. Maybe we did something wrong? Nope, this isn't anyway, it. Anyway, let's check the others. 
Tokyo has blank, blank, and blank, blank, completely within blank. Okay, let's try this one. It lit up. All right. Well, this one also was at the end of another current flow. This world is alive. Do you understand? Are you telling us this, or are you telling yourself this? To uh, try and remind yourself that, hey, we're invading your mind. You need to do whatever you can to throw us off the trail. Was that Tokiko's voice? Yeah, I think I saw her sprite, Ryuki, so definitely her voice. It sounded like she was talking to someone. Hmm. Shoma, perhaps. Okay, let's see what this one has to say. Also red. Oh. Okay. I thought we got it wrong again. Tokiko's voice again. I wonder who she's talking to. She can't be talking to herself. You never know. Tokiko has lost blank, and blank resides completely within blank. Okay, now maybe you we have use three this one. minutes left. Get it together, Ryuki. I'm trying, man. Let's transcend this world together. Okay, I just had to go in a specific order. Wait, she must be talking to... Ryuki, look! Outside the window! Okay, that has to be meant to lock too, because that's where it was, right? Shoma? So she did get to him after all. What's going on? Whoa, whoa! Holy shit! What's going on? <laughs> God! He's transcended this world! He's gone big brain! Sokin and Shoma. Those are the only two I guess we're going to be seeing. Decipher the book and find out the truth. So she does have a relationship with Shoma. Uh... Yes, there is a connection there. Maybe what we heard earlier was for Shoma, too. Love is born. Let's think about it later. Well, we know he doesn't love his father. Look at that. What the hell? No identities for these guys. So many people. It looks painful. I wonder, are they the others who solved the Bats 490 puzzle and disappeared I have a bad feeling about this follow it did she massacre a bunch of smarties oh this is a deep one okay we're going into the bowels of nice this time around Tama brace yourself for more jump scares for more horrors for more skin tingling drama on um, Oh my god, she's T-posing. What the fuck? <laughs> god. <gasps> oh, the ringing in the ears! I really do feel disoriented. It's the same room again, but... vertical? This is really messing with my sense of balance. You have a sense of balance? How far does this room even go? Another book. Hopefully, this is the last. She disappeared. Alright, down. What do we got? It says... When the eyes are met, death is born. Comforting. Death? Tokiko is getting more and more suspicious. She wasn't suspicious before, Ryuki? Come on, man. Are we naive or what? Maybe our focus should be on nice. Oh... Here we are with the eye the motifs again. And an eyeball. Do you think that's what it's meant by eyes are met? Maybe it's talking about me. No, I don't think so. You are an eyeball. <laughs> Tama, why don't you lock eyes with it? Are you trying to kill me? It said death is born. Hey, if you die, you're probably going to explode in my eye socket and my head will go. We saw what happened with Saito. Then when the eyes are met is... 
All of her ideas are poured into her writing, and the blank are strongly tied to those teachings. The what? Acolytes? Disciples? Eyes are met. I mean, we probably have to go towards that book. There's a few books, actually. Uh, we've got a book back there. At the entrance. We might as well start with that. Since, you know, it'll be a pain to get back here if I cross the room. Red Book D. Don't see any eyes associated with it. But we can examine it without committing to a time... The Red Book. ...commitment. This book is closed. Open or flip? Hmm. It's Red Book D. A, B, or C are up ahead. A closed book. Let's, uh, let's open it first. Open. Okay. There are two eyes. Gotcha. Hmm. Ryuki, if you're stuck, why don't you read the first book again? I'm not stuck, I'm just exploring my options. It's okay. Tokiko has lost blank and her mind resides completely within blank. She's lost her marbles, is probably what it says. Okay. I thought we'd have to open it and then flip it over, but no. Alright. Down Ryuki, we go. Ryuki, less than two minutes left. Be careful. Gotcha, don't worry, I gotta tie me now. Oh, I just realized we were upside down. I was all discombobulated. Red Book A. It's a red book of nice teachings. It has an eye symbol. Well, two eyes. It's filled with eyes. We can close it, but that'll give us a negative timey. Or we can flip it. Let's close it. Got it. It was the only one that was open. It's now an eye. Alright, now we go back. So, did we make the eyes meet? I guess so. Let's do the same for the other two books. All sense of emotion she's lost. Okay. There are timings with negative effects. Negative timings spend time and are forced to be used if you get one, so be careful. Gotcha. I don't think we've got any way of reducing uh, the time usage. The books were nine seconds each. All right. Got Close it. it. We're gonna get negative timing for this too. Ah, oh, I need to flip it. No, I don't. Good. <laughs> there we are. So I only need to do it on one of them. Okay. This should do it. Uh, Tom, I might want to get out of the way. Remember, death is what occurs when the eyes meet. Her mind resides completely within Nirvana, huh? You have less than a minute left. Hurry! I know, we're cutting it close. A big eyeball. What is going on inside her head that would make this appear? <laughs> what about Big Shoma Head, like huh? Like I said, that old woman is crazy. So what's it gonna be? Flip. Poke eyes. That'll give us a one second. Timey. Unfortunately, I have to commit to using my negative timey here. Poke eyes. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Karma. Well, Instant. Thanks. That was pointless. It wasn't pointless. I got a sick and timey, and I need that. Especially with... Uh, oh, sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Can you do it again? <laughs> Especially this is I'm running down the clock. I said it's pointless. Focus, Ryuki. I'm focusing. Blank. It seems Tokiko's blank. 39 seconds. We got this. No need to panic. Uh, let us use our one-third. Flip. And... spin. Okay, do we need to flip it again? No, it's gonna go across the room. I set the eyes to face each other. Brilliant. That wasn't my intention. I thought it would be, uh, the one across. Not the one all the way down there. Digging deeper, it seems Tokiko's blank. An eyeball. 
Okay, we don't need to poke the eyes again, do we? And 10 seconds Spin. is actually not what I'm after. Oh no, I should have flipped the other one around. That's not right. When the eyes are met, death is born. So what do we need to meet? I should have realized. I should have uh, figured out which eye to spin around in the first place. Well, we might as well use our one second. Spin. Oh shit, what the hell? I didn't realize it reset itself. I thought I needed to flip it back That's to where it was. 30 seconds eyeball. left. I got it. Okay, stop wasting my time with the stupid eyeball. Going back. Oh boy, we're really cutting it close. And judging by the lock info, we're nowhere near the end. 17. An eyeball. <sighs> Flip. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> we can at least uh, get this part Is done. Is this what eyes meeting means? I think so. Ryuki, have you never locked eyes with anyone before? Damn it! We're nowhere near finishing. I do have a minus 10 second, though. A new book. When the eyes are met, death is born. Death. It's the death note? Tama, let's check that out, too. Ryuki, you're out of time! I, I am, I know. Can I even swim to it? Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah! Even just rotating costs me time. It's a new book of nice teachings. This time, it's closed. Well, shit. Oh, that... Yeah, one second. <laughs> Let's do it. Here we go. Huh? A mirror. Hmm. It's distorting. Okay. Just floating in space, are we? Practicing your finger signs. What are we doing? Just watching people fall, huh? Quite the pastime you got there, Tokyo Tokiko. Oh my goodness. Wow. What was that? We are sinking deeper into the mind of a psychopath. So many people. What is Tokiko thinking? She's thinking I'm a loser because I ran out of time before I could uncover the truth of the Somnium. Oh, damn it. We're gonna need to retry. On the bright side, we know what we need to do. Here it comes! Oh, I thought she was gonna, like, tumble and fall like she's going through a uh, water slide or something. Okay, where's that lead now? Uh, so you want me to dive in again? Yeah, but we'll have to kind of reset a little bit. Tama, go! <laughs> it's almost time, Ryuki. Okay. Huh? Already? We haven't even gotten close to the truth. It did sneak up on me, huh? Tokiko. All right, two minutes Ryuki, this time. Less than two minutes left. Be careful. A lot more of an allowance, don't you think? We. Don't tell me that's all I needed. Okay, surely we're now in a white <sighs> space. I thought I was gonna fall forever. Guns. We need lots of guns. You got some balls, Tama. <laughs> Thanks. I guess. Thank you, but Ryuki. But there's nothing here. Uh, we got something so translucent in the background. Doesn't look like we can learn anything here. Oh, well, shit. We're gonna have to climb back out, Tama. Mm hmm? That's... Another book. 27 seconds. Oh shit, and I have to use my timey too. At the end of an incomplete world, truth is born. No, I don't. It's just an inspect. It's fine. 
Well, this is an incomplete world. And you might be at the end of it. Oh, great. Crimson tears. That vanish into the ether. Oh. Jesus. Okay. Uh, goodbye. That's... Enjoy your honeycombs. Monubal X. Who comes up with this stuff, man? <laughs> There's something there. They're like, hey guys, we gotta come up with a dream asomnium. And obviously dreams are pretty wacky shit, so... I need you to go balls to the wall here. Just think of the most randomest crap. And uh, we'll pull it all together. Let's go. Nearly there. Go. We're swimming. Oh, it's so far away. God, what a time sink. <laughs> it calls to me. Come on, Tama! Kick your legs! We don't have time for this! Honest to God. You have less than a minute left. What Hurry. are we gonna find on the other side of this glowing sensation? Oh, it's such a tiny book. Go. Go. Find it. Imagine getting all the way over here just to realize you didn't have enough time to swim up. It costs like, what, 30 seconds? Unless there was a easier, more efficient way to get here. I'm going to open it. Go for it. Is it some kind of... Planning sheet? Spreadsheet? We came all this way for an Excel document? It says Nirvana Initiative. Ooh, title drop. The Nirvana Initiative. Roll credits. No good. There's too much blacked out. Oh, really? It's redacted? Come on. Isn't there anything else? Ryuki, we're almost out of time. Yeah, you don't say. Wait, try reading more of it. Just take a screenshot using your eyes. Peter, please. Oh, no, don't, don't turn to Peter just to pull out because you don't want to do some reading. Found a mysterious planning document. Alright. Jeez. They made us swim an absurd distance just so Tama could go, Peter, please pull us out. I need to pull out. And you know Tama never likes to pull out. Nirvana. Cool. I'll take it. One retry necessary, but, I mean, shit. There wasn't a lot of room for error in that one, was there? Go! Ryuki Chapter 2, 12th of February. I mean, like, even swimming took a lot out of it. Just turning around in place would shrink your time down by Ms. half a Shigure, second. I've taken a look inside your mind. Yes, it's as dodgy as it sounds. Using this machine. You know what this machine is, I'm presuming? I can see the control room on the other side of the window. It's just Peter in there right now. Yeah, where is boss? Should have loved to see that, I'm sure. It's the sink machine. The device used for sinking. They still haven't spelt it right. It's the door leading to the control room. On the other side of this door is another door, which leads to a passage to the sixth basement floor of the government building. Damn, Ryuki. We're trying to give directions? It's the chair for the sinker. It's used by the one initiating the sink. It's the chair for the subject. It's used by the one being synced. Peter is in the control room. What to do with Tokiko? Tokiko Shigure is not a suspect. You sure? She was literally sipping tea watching bodies fall out the window. We can't detain her without clear grounds to do so. Aren't we technically detaining her right now? <laughs> so we have to release her. I guess we have no choice. I suppose. Um... Where is Boss? I haven't seen her. Ugh. I hate it when she goes missing. She probably hasn't arrived at Abyss HQ yet. What, she got a hangover or something? About that Somnium. You don't have to explain. Well, thank you, because I don't know where to begin to explain what I just saw. The images shown in Somnium are all displayed here in the control room. Right, so were you freaked out too? Tokiko is standing there, menacingly. She doesn't seem phased. Uh, what is the Nirvana Initiative? No, let's start with about Gen. Do you know someone named Gen Ishiagane? He's the one that, uh, seems the farthest removed from her. 
in terms of six degrees of separation. He appeared in your dream. At least Shoma solved the Bats 490 problem so I can see how she might come to know him. Okay. Cool. How about Shoma? Shoma Enda. I know you know about him. Yeah. Can you tell me about your relationship with him? Okay. What is the Nirvana Initiative? The You're Nirvana Initiative. Definitely gonna answer this question, aren't you? Is it some sort of plan? Well, that went well. She's exercising her right it to remain silent. You have many questions for me. Yes, I do. But I apologize. I'm afraid I have prior engagements. Oh, well, you could quickly write down the answers. Maybe you could give me a call while you drive. Could you please visit me at my office again at 10 o'clock tonight? Why, so I can find your half-body strewn on your desk? I would be happy to share more information with you then. Okay. Bold of you to assume that you'll still be alive. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me. Ah, uh, yes. The secret handshake. Is that our secret handshake now? You're excused. Pewter! Keep it harder. Hmm. Now, where's he gone? Wait, where's Pewter? Jeez, everyone just keeps vanishing. He wants to see Tokiko off. See her off? Like what? At the airport? Like he's dropping her off. I see. Fine. So, what do I do now? Could have at least said, like, escort, him, escort her out of the building. No, see her off. Figure that out yourself. Make sure she's got her bags packed and everything. <sighs> what do I do now? Good question. <laughs> Uh, well, we could do a lot of things, it seems. Ask to tie me up in a tortoise shell rope binding. We already did that yesterday. No more for a while. Oh. Did we? Shit, I don't remember. Why not? Come on, just a little bit. <laughs> Let's go eat pancakes. You think this is a damn joke? Don't make me sentence you to a panting. What's a panting and why do your eyes look like that? What? What is that? <laughs> Become a major league ba ball player. I know. I'll become a major leaguer. Yeah, we need a baseball episode. Yeah, good luck with that. Oh god, she's getting angry. Go see Gen and Shoma. You know, I could be a major leaguer with you in my eye socket. I'm pretty sure I'd be able to knock any ball out of the park. In that Somnium earlier, Gen appeared. And Shoma did too. We need to know what his relationship with her is. So Tokiko definitely knows them. Or has seen them somewhere. I mean, Gin has a face you would never forget, apparently. And then he's got that mask on top of it. And yet? Could you please visit me at my office again at 10 o'clock tonight? Why 10 o'clock, specifically? Tama, what time is it now? A little past 1300. Hmm. Nine hours to go. We have almost nine whole hours until the appointed time. Nine and six. <laughs> is it a coincidence that those two are, like, numbers that come up often. Anyway, let's talk to Gen and Shoma. Where are they now? Mm, well, I can't track down either of them. What do you mean you can't track them down? Either their phones are out of battery, their GPS is off, or they're somewhere without any signal. Well, that's a coincidence, isn't it? Then we'll have to take a guess. Maybe Shoma is at school. No, he hasn't been there in a while. Hmm. He hasn't been going to school? He's homeschooling himself? It seems not. Well, I'll get to that later. So then Shoma must be at home, or... Or at Mizuki's place, in the bushes. Yes, yes. he really he loves, loves this, this Ferris, Ferris wheel, too. wheel too. Okay, he's at, at the, the Ferris wheel. At the rooftop amusement park at Misaton. Of course, they put a lot of effort into that locale. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't only use it once. Gen is probably at his restaurant, or the warehouse district at the port. He once told me he loves the warehouse district, and that he goes there all the time to look at the sea. Yeah, I too love the industrial area of my city. I love looking at the factories. So we have four destinations to check. Okay. Let's get moving. Let us get moving. I feel like I want to find Gin first, so let's start with uh, the Harbor Warehouse District. Haven't been here in a hot minute. Perhaps he's here, although I can't imagine who would who we could possibly meet at Brahmin if he isn't there. Who's that? Couldn't quite see. I don't see Gen anywhere. He's probably at the restaurant after all. Oh well. Oh wait, look over there. 
It's that person. That's... You know them? Oh, no. Not really. What? What's that all about, Taba? I've just seen them around before. Oh, okay. Um, mind cluing me in then? Dressed kind of strangely, don't you think? Maybe they're coming back from a cosplay event. Yeah, to look at the sea and the harbor. Excuse me. How the hell did we end up here? I'm sorry, do you have a minute? Wait, can I turn around? Like, we arrived at the warehouse district and we were at the far corner of the pier? Like, what? Did we swim here? Did we take a boat? Did we drop down from the fucking sky? How did we get there? <laughs> I suppose we just like wandered the length and didn't see her. Or him. Looks like a feminine figure though, right? You. Well, masked woman. Me? Why do you have disdain for me, huh? A forklift is parked here. It says, Okiura Fishery. Uh-huh. Okiura is Mizuki's maiden name, but I think that's unrelated to this case. Yeah, it's already been played out, I think. How do you know? Because I know! <laughs> Just trust me, okay? She's like a GM. There are warehouses lined up here. It's a wooden box. Wow. Looks delicious. A crane looks delicious to you? What are you imagining? Ugh. Gross. You like a nice oil drum shaped woman, don't you, Ryuki? No. You don't exactly look like an oil drum shaped woman, do you, Tama? And I like you. Where did you get that idea? It's one of those things that keep your teeth aligned. Braces? That's a retainer. <laughs> Ryuki, look! There's a flock of angry, finless porpoises over there! What? They're probably here to protest against microplastics. Of course. I expect nothing less from them. The waters of Tokyo Bay. There are finless porpoises protesting. They're called mallards, right? You mean bollard. There's always a rhyming joke. It's a woman wearing a mask. I sense some hostility. Well, I mean, we have the option to wink sync, and apparently we can do this uh, at every location at least once, even though we're only supposed to be able to use it once a day. What's going on? What could he be plotting? Who are you? I just want to say Mizuki, you know? Like... Why are you dressed like that? None of your business. Okay. Sorry. Do you know me? <sighs> what are you doing? Nothing. Cool. Uh, good talk. Who are you? I don't need to tell you anything. No, but I I'd like you to. Is that okay if I ask nicely? Jeez, everyone's so You're talkative today. You're beginning to annoy me. Would you please leave? Well, you leave. I came here to look at the... If I'm anno if I'm bothering you, you get the hell out of here. Go find another spot by the crane. Annoy you? Fine. Then I will take my leave instead. Good. Go for it. Are you gonna do the like a... The take action is approaching. Are you gonna do like a Naruto run or something? And I must stop the plan. Stop what? What is the plan? There she goes. There, there she went. What was she talking about? I don't know. Cosplay ban, maybe? Yeah, probably. I've never heard of a plan like that. <laughs> then maybe it's a family plan. Maybe she's gonna join the Finless Porpoises. Whatever the case, I think it's clear that that woman isn't all there. Is anyone, is anyone all there in this game? Let's forget about it. More importantly... On to the next place, huh? On to Brahmin. Let's go. Nice to see Gin alive and well. Oh, Mame is here too. You don't have to sound so disappointed, Ryuki. Why are you here? You don't have to sound so annoyed. There's something I wanted to ask Gen. And what would that be? Uh, whiskey on the rocks, please. Well... Well... Have you thought about dying lately? 